Hello and welcome to another edition of the Eternal Spirit Show with me, Paul Salmon. I'm a psychic medium and today I brought someone along who I thought a bit of a recap. A past guest, Peggy Reber, spiritualist photographer. Good morning, Peggy. Good morning, Paul. Are you well? Very good, thank you. Good. I said we brought you back because you were one of my first guests on the Eternal Spirit That's right. Show. Yeah. And we say, I don't know, do you officially call yourself a spiritual photographer? I don't, I don't know. How or, it it, or did I give you that tag? I think you gave me the tag. Well, we'll keep that. It's a good one. <laughs> it's good. Um, so, what, what do we mean? What do you take photographs of? Well, I've seen spirit ever since I was a small child. Mm -hmm. And actually, at one stage, I went to a graveyard to, with my mother and family because someone was being buried. And they said, I asked why everyone, everyone was crying because I didn't understand why they were crying. And my mother said, she you had to be quiet because I couldn't let everyone hear her. So she, when she got home, she was telling me this. And she said, look, she said, that you see the lovely box over there that's saying goodbye to their mother. Mm. She's gone away. And I said, look, Ma, she's not in the box. She's over there with those people. And right. I could see her like I'm looking at you. Right. And without knowing it, for years, I've been getting stuff on camera, full spirit people. What, their head? Their... Everything, bodily, really? the whole thing. I've got amazing... Hundreds of photos. Oh, with, right. I've never published because I, 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 I didn't know how to go. Well, I've not seen those, Peggy. You haven't seen, no. But what I have seen is you taking photos of orbs. Yes. Now, can you explain what orbs are? Yes, it's an energy light that our loved ones can keep in contact with. And people get confused and they think as they see a ball of light, there's nothing, you know, it's nothing. Mm. But this is an energy that they're in. And right. they, they when, when you see a ghost, they actually come from the orb. But what you don't see is the orb. They have to go back to the light again after so, a few seconds. So how come some people, you, you've, you've taken photographs of a spirit, like yeah. the ghost in but how come they show themselves as a full body, but sometimes as an orb? I don't... Only they know that. Yeah. And it was when they come, you know... So maybe they haven't gone on to... I've seen, and I know this would sound, but I've seen like a, a gigantic egg orb in my room one day at half ten in the morning. Yeah. I was cleaning the sink and I couldn't see the water. Oh, so the light was so bright. Then everything cleared and there stood my husband with mm. my grandchild. Mm. Tony, he put the, the baby down on the floor sitting and held his hands out to me, just like I'm looking at you. Yeah. He walked over to me. I said, you're home, babe. It's closed, everything it was amazing. Then the light again, back, poof, gone. It's like you've been given a gift of photo. I mean, I know other yes. people photograph orbs, but you photograph so many, it seems like. This, you know. it's, not just, it's not just orbs. I mean, it's stuff like religious figures I've seen, and I'm not, I don't believe in organised religion. No. I don't believe in anyone killing each other or religion. Religion's in here. Yeah. That's how you are in yourself. Mm. And this is the crucifix that was got in uh, Suffolk. Yeah. a few years ago. But what is it about you, do you think? How come you've got this gift to photograph orbs whenever you like, and some might be lucky and get it's one of It's strange. I, I, I often think about that, and I think, well, so many people in history, yeah. they're seeing amazing visions, in it, and look, they were really put down for it. Mm. But someone has... They're trying to work mm. with us down here and mm. give us the knowledge. Mm. It's not goodbye when you say... No. About farewell to someone, it's not goodbye. It's the beginning, it's isn't the it? It's the beginning. Really? Peggy, now let's talk. Here's that little catch up bit since I last saw you. Okay. We, together with a group of people, went to Rentlesham Forest yes. and photographing orbs. Yes. Boy, was that good. Oh, it was amazing. <laughs> and we will get all those pictures to you. Yeah, you? okay. But one thing, well, it's a few things fascinates yeah. me. Do you remember we spent quite a lot of time together then? Yeah. And I photographed a blue orb. Then I moved a hundred yards or metres nowadays yes. up the road. And I just clicked into the sky and the same orb appeared, the same blue yes. orb. And further up the road, I, I just photographed the sky again, which yes. was dark, of yes. course. And that same orb appeared. Now, yes. Because they knew, at the, from the first time, yeah. they knew you'd already acknowledged it. Right. So they wanted to keep confirming it's us. It's us. Yeah. And they keep giving us your time until you you know, and you recognise it the next time. Yeah. So maybe and that will lead on then to better visions mm. and more clear, you know, clearer visions. Mm. So do you, when you begin an evening of, or a daytime of photographing orbs, do you pray to God or do you open up anything to 
ask them no, to come No, I don't meditate. Yeah. Um, I have been to um, meditations, but I couldn't do it. And mm. as soon as the meditations were finished, click, there they were. Yeah. I, I just, myself, and when I hear a noise or they knock on the door... Because they make noises. No, they, they give me signs to take the pictures. Yeah. So, uh, but these orbs you talk, they appear in different colours, don't they? Yes. What, what's all that about then? Oh, it's astonishing. It's just the, the stronger energies and the way they want to show themselves in different. Mm. And it's like last night I was staying in the hotel, quite close to here actually, and it was actually alive with orbs. Mm. And I said, lads, you, you have, all get to get to the hairdressers because we're on telly tomorrow. <laughs> Click, and there they all were. So the orbs just don't appear on film. Well, it's not film nowadays, it's yeah, not but you actually see these orbs Visually. with the naked eye? Oh, ever since I was down here. I used to call them magic lights. Right, so what happened in the hotel last night? The hotel was amazing. I stayed in that hotel so many times yeah. before. And actually, there's one picture. It's a blue one with a, a ring around the face mm. by a tree. That was taken at the hotel mm. oh, a while ago now. Because we saw Tony Stockwell yes. um, do his medium work yeah. at, at the... Uh, the Orwell Hotel, yes. or St Elizabeth Hotel, a few months ago. Well, last year, was it? Last year. And you took a photograph yes. outside the hotel yeah. of this blue orb. Yes. And, and that, that They're just confirming they were there, and yeah. Yeah. And so, they were here last night, the blue again, turned up again last night, same blue orb, same place. So it's the same In person, and outside. Yeah. yeah, they're the same. If there's a particular group of spirits, they're really, they, they stay persistent. Mm. Because they're working with you. Yeah. Once they start working with you, yeah. they won't give up. Now, the highlight for me at Rendlesham Forest was we went in a little dip. Oh, yes. Right. Like... And you took my photograph. Now, I'm surrounded in one photograph by a fog. And now, with the oh, naked eye, it wasn't there, was it? No, absolutely not. So, right, you've got the orbs on one yeah. hand. I mean, I took some photographs, and I've got one or two, but yeah. you've got thousands. Um, so I've got the orbs on one hand and this foggy mist, which sometimes is encapsulates people. Yes. What's that about? What, what well, is the mist? The actual mist are the orbs. Because the yeah. orbs, when they manifest, yeah. and they're trying to... That but, becomes the mist. Do they burst open or something? Yes. Yes. Uh, and they manifest yes. in different shapes? Because I took one of them. It looked like a dog. Um, yes, the shape, because they're trying to they're trying to show you it can be an animal in your family, it can be something that you're related yeah. to, and they're... Right. If but, you keep getting better, you will get but, more. But I can't see what this mist was. But there's another photograph you took of me. It wasn't just me, I hasten to add. It's a lot of people you've yeah. took photographs of. But this one of me being followed <gasps> by a fog. That's astonishing. It's not but, as misty people. But that it? wasn't mist, that was like thick... Well, you can see the yeah, heads, you can see the people in it and everything. My yeah. daughter, to, she's going to email those to you. Right. Unfortunately, we've had a bad year with people and family and yeah. it hasn't been a good year for us and I haven't had time to get the... No, that's all right. So, but what, what's a highlight for you at Rendlesham Forest? Would it be in that... That, that saucer. That? I call it like... Um, I, I have it in my head. It's like somewhere a saucer of some kind yeah. landed and made a dip. And but, it's totally magical there. I'm going back soon. But I like, what I like is the way you interpret these orbs. Yes. Know, I look at something, I can't see what the heck it is. And you say, oh, it's such and such. Yes. Except when we went to Felixstowe not long ago, on the seafront. Oh, yeah. Right? And I took a photo of you. Yeah. And you blew it up on your camera. And I said, oh, my God, there's a man with a little child. Yes. And it wasn't oh, just the yes. face. Do you know who they were? By any well, they would have been connected to you. Oh, for me, was it? Yes. <laughs> they would have definitely See, I took a photograph of you thinking they're, they're yeah. for you. I wonder who they were. I must have another look back on that one, actually, because... But you can't deny it, because people say oh, orbs, they're oh, just circles of light, but they're not... People really... are going to say that, aren't they? As long as we're on this aeroplane. There's only, a, you know, there will come a day when people will look. It's not goodbye. People are trying to stay connected. And it's a way of them manifesting yeah. themselves the best they can. I call them the lads, oh, yeah, yeah. whether they're women, children or what, because I said, lads, there's too many of you up there. I can't be individual. <laughs> well, let's hold up one of these to the camera. Of us, actually, it's happening in Rentrum Forest, isn't it? Yes. Right? There's, where are we? There we are. That, that was taken. Now, there's myself, there's Peggy, and there's one of our friends, whoever that is. <laughs> and what we've done, we've blown up the photograph. Right, so there's an orb there. 
all these little orbs around. But you've blown one up. And can you see the face in there? They're astonishing, actually. You can. It's marvellous. I don't know who that is, my dear. I think it's an uncle of yours. But I, uh, I have that feeling, because I only get the pictures. I'm, you're a medium. And yeah, I've, I've, I've not really... Every time I look at that, I think of an uncle. But if we go higher up on the photograph, we've blown up some of these little orbs. Yeah. And you can see a face here. There's a lady in there. Right. And it's absolutely all shapes and colours and things. They're just fabulous. Um, no, there's another one there, face. So they're just not circles of light, are they? In fact, I've taken some, and you can actually see... It's like looking at a map of the Earth. Yes. It's, it's got the... Um, yeah. Oh, vertical and... Because there's so many different the energies in that? one. There's What's so the technical many different, yeah. name of these lines? Horizontal and meridian lines and stuff. But yes, we've got a lot of work to do together. Peggy. It's very strange when you're a child, you know, and you're down by a river in your little magical place and you see all these flick, sparkly lights. Yeah, fascinating. And I, I never knew what they were and they never left me and I hope they never do. But then again, couldn't... you see, I can, when I work, I can see spirit people, I hear them, see them, but I don't see orbs. And you see, can... they work with us all in different ways and it's up to all of us to bring it all together. Yeah, and, and make sense of it. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Without any jealousies, without any of this one's got that one, or I'm above myself or whatever, it shouldn't be like that. Well, maybe we should one, be all together. Maybe one day we can work together, do an, I, an evening of clairvoyance. I'd love it. And you can and explain. So will they. Yeah, let's do that sometime. I think we've been guided to do that, actually. I'll stick with you, Peggy, I think. Yeah. But there's something exciting coming up for you. Yes. A book. Yes. Tell me about this. I mean, it's been well accepted by Hay House Publishers. Yes. It, it, we're halfway through, we've done quite a bit of it now, but I've had to stop again in the last two months because of family. Right. And uh, I want to get cracking on it now, get it done before I'm up there myself. So did you just contact the publishers? And yes, and that? they looked at the, they looked at, the um, at my website, yeah. and I think that's what made their minds up, whether they take the book. Right. Now, do you I'm delighted, because Hay House I, I really love. Do you have to have a meeting with them and collaborate and say... No, Which it's all pictures? done at the moment. With but we will be meeting. Mm. We will be meeting with someone. Because I mean, you, you'll, get, you'll get a choice, won't you? For yes. photographs to put in. Oh yeah. And no doubt yeah. they will as well. Mm. But what about writing it? Have you got someone else to help write the book? Yes, for you? I've got um, only myself. I'm keeping the family. Like my daughter is brilliant. Yeah. Excellent. And she absolutely. She's well. She's gifted with her father's brain. <laughs> it's certainly not mine. <laughs> so it might be just a coffee table picture book. It'd be a. Oh, it's going, I just want to do, I want to do a good job for spirit. Mm. I'm certainly not in this for money or gain. Mm. It's too precious to me and it's priceless. Mm. And I, I need to get it out and do a good job for them. Oh, I'll have a signed copy of you when yeah. it's all Thank When's it likely to be finished? I'm hoping to look now, say about two or three months anyway. Yeah. Because now mm. the concentration's going to go back on yeah, to sure. full, but then get it done. It takes about a year to get it published, doesn't it, really? Books yeah. And well, I don't know. Then it'll be up to them. I have to send yeah. the, you know, the, the yeah. first yeah. Yeah. on to them and see what they say and then come back. What's, what's, what sticks in your mind as one of the most amazing photographs you've ever taken? The crucifix. We can't see that on camera, it's good. But no, it's, it's a great pity because I'm not. And, and people would start to think that maybe you're trying to put religion down. Mm. I've seen religious figures with my eyes mm. as well since I was a child. Mm. Like I'm looking at you. So tell me about the crucifix. Where was it? Where, where did it you was a place it? called... Uh, it's in Suffolk, actually. And it's... Um, oh. Never mind, it's somewhere in Suffolk. It's a famous church. You should go there. All right. Um, What's wrong with me? I've got a I've got a, I think. That's right, leave that for now, Peggy, because okay. we can't hold you up to the camera. So, it's just a plain crucifix with, or was it shining bright when you saw it, or was it an orb? No, it's what actually happened. An elderly uh, friend of mine took me down to show me this ancient church. Mm. And um, coming over the bridge, the church was locked, and I was really disappointed. And anyway, coming across the bridge, going back home, I had the most overwhelming feeling to get out of the car and he wouldn't. He said, you piggy, you know, it's too narrow, the mm. road. And um, anyway, got out, click, click, back into the car and I didn't bother. Mm. Once the clicking had gone with the camera, I started to feel okay. When I got home and Harry um, Phillips, 
said, Peggy, did you get anything after all that? And when we looked at it, the three of us couldn't believe our eyes when we saw this beautiful picture of the crucifix. Uh -huh. Well, it's there for you then, wasn't it? A, I've a made sign. a discovery since then on a, on a book about saints. Mm. And Saint Francis saw the same vision. Exa oh, exactly. Right. It's illustrated the same. So in, the, in my book, it's yeah. going to be compared yeah. to that. It's fascinating. It's a, Is there somewhere you'd like, in the whole world, where you'd like to go to see if you get any orbs somewhere or well, now religious it, symbols? Or? Oh, I'm going to start going to all ancient places. Mm. And but my place first will have to be back to Rendlesham Forest because mm. I can't get it. It's in my blood at the mm. moment. I can't. I've got to go back. And it's local, isn't it? It's not too far. No. Away. And maybe, or if you could do like, at, like old ruined abbeys and but, uh, castles. Yeah, and I've been asked. I'm going to go to the war graves in France uh -huh. and places like that because I know that that's going to be special. You'll have to do that and come back with some results and show yeah. us. But has, I mean, Pat, your daughter, she, has she got your gift for taking photographs? Yes, she has. She has, has she? It's very strange. It's, it's the mediumship, in one way or another, has come down to the family. My, my grandmother was a Roman gypsy. Ah. Right. And uh, as kids, we used to wonder why she was filling her teacups with tea and then doing this and chucking it out. the tea. <laughs> <laughs> But she was actually, she was a tea reader, she was amazing at it. Mm. But she guided me, when I used to see all these visions as a kid, and I'd tell her, she'd tell me to be quiet, don't tell the nuns, it's cool. Mm. <laughs> yeah. You know, they wouldn't have, t you know, people won't listen. Yeah. Yeah. And they told me to be quiet, and they guided me, but they never told me to shut up, they didn't want to hear it anymore. My mum and my grandmother mm. were amazing. You, I just thought you'd have to photograph, take some photographs in here, in our studio. Yeah. Now new Felix Stowe TV studio. Yeah. And see what you pick up. Because it used to be, I won't say what it used to be, this building. But um, I think you, you'll know. Uh, but they make, they make noises when you're by yourself, like in the hotel oh, room. Really, and, yeah, they'll knock, like this. And can, can you converse with them? Yeah, I, I do. You do? I have lovely communication with them for years and years now. Yeah. And when I hear... The, I'm literally knocking on the, on the door, I say, oh, for crying out loud, I thought you could walk through it. Yeah. And then I get out of the bed one night, open the door and say, right, who is it? Yeah. Took a picture, of one, and I've got a lot of family pictures on the wall. And there was a note by my husband's, my grandmother's and my granddad's. I said, oh, it's you three. Because mm. they were putting the orbs on the pictures to show me who they were. It must be a bit, mum, it's not mundane, it's still fascinating, but... In a way, it must be taken for granted now. I mean, I mean, like I was on a ghost hunt once, and I said, "Oh, there's a ghost," because I'm so used to it. Yeah. Now, to anyone else, it's oh, a ghost. I know a strange. And to you, I'd love to see an orb, but you. Oh, yeah, it's an everyday last occurrence. Last night, the hotel it? was astonishing. There was yeah. blue ones, pink ones, green ones, white ones. Yeah. And can you feel the energy as well? Yes. You can. Yeah. It's just it's just yes. not visual. You can no. actually. What do you feel? Heat. Oh, or I feel so hot. Blood? And and like, you know, yeah. like cobwebs, like oh, it's amazing. And do, do you get some like spirit guides coming as well? Yes, you do. Yeah. Do you know who they are? Can there's, you a funny, a there's a funny. I've got a funny story about my spirit guide. My, I've got a Tibetan spirit guide. His name is Sam, mm. and I've got a, um, an artist impression of him on the wall next to my husband. Uh -huh. And one night I put a rose up for him as a thank you, and. I asked him to give me a sign if he saw the rose, and right over the rose was an O. Uh -huh. This went on for 10 minutes, and then I got out of the bed and I put a little note up for the guide, on, which I've got still in the pictures. I, I asked him, can you see the note I put up for you? And then he moved from the, down over the, and put a note there. I sat back in the bed and I said, San, are you the one that makes me feel really hot? Nothing came out on Sands, and Tony's one was full of big old bantones. Mm. You're probably thinking, what do you mean, another man asking you if he's making you feel out? Mm. It's the way they communicate, yeah. it's brilliant. Oh, fascinating. It's, it's but, really... We'll... But like you say, each to his or her own, because you have the gift of that, and others, mediums, clairvoyants... Absolutely. ...different ways. They know what they're doing. We yeah. don't fully know, but they're bringing us all together to bring it in different ways and make yeah. up the story. Well, they brought you here today, haven't they? Yeah. yeah to, to pass on your knowledge and... I never hope I'll never become one of these people, that kind of things, I'm this, I'm that, and I've got this, and well, no one not. else has got this, because I'm not. No. And I'm only a messenger. Best. 
pure and simple. Um, it's not. It's not my ability. It's theirs. No, I think I can. I can foresee you've been a psychic that you'll be on the rostrum again, giving talks and with your book. Can I have that in writing, please? Mm, certainly can. <laughs> on, on Do you know? Nas- you'll be on national tour with your book. I'm book so science. tense now being on this. I just. Uh, it seems so strange being behind the camera for a change. You know, mm, in front of. In front of, of the it. camera. In front, oh God. <laughs> Peggy, what's your website? You have a website. I have. People yes. People can look at your. Yeah, they can, your there'll be new photos going on <laughs> soon. Yeah. I've got thousands and thousands of pictures. If you only you used to be so shocked. I'll have another look. Accumulation. <laughs> uh, what's your website? It's um, www.peggywebberspiritlinks.co.uk. All one word. Right. And one B in Weber. And if you forget that, just type in Peggy Webber. Well, that's right, yeah. Or get in touch with us yeah. here at Felix Toe TV. And please excuse me, I'm shaking and... What are you shaking for? I am. Calm. <laughs> You've been a wonderful guest again. Thank you, Peggy. Thank you for, so much and, and thank you, everyone. Look, go photograph all these war graves and... I'm going to, and do, I'm going to, I want to build and, up a story now. And next time, show some of these photographs. Yes, we will do, Paul. Peggy, thanks for, thank you thanks so for having much. us. No, thank you. No, not you, thanks for having us. Thanks for being my guest. Yeah, that sounds it's weird. It's a lie if anything can happen on Felix <laughs> <Tate> TV. <laughs> Thanks yeah, I think much. my husband will be coming in in a minute. Want we'll have know. a chat afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Thanks yeah. for Bye-bye. watching. Goodbye Thank and you. God bless. Oh.